Hello friends. Today we studied how to convert the transfer function to the state space equation. So to understand that things, we assume the transfer function s plus 3 upon s square plus 2s plus t. Now, one more thing you have to remember, we don't have the unique representation for the state space model. So here I choose the easiest way to explain you how to convert it into state model. So what we have to do, what is the transfer function y of s upon u of s. So y, here I split the y of s and u of s in terms of the state's equation or the state variable. So it will be the y of s upon x of s and x of s upon the u of s. So x of s upon u of s is a 1 upon s square plus 2s plus 10 and y of s upon x of s is equal to s plus 3. Now uh, when we split heat and now how, the, how to choose the number of state variable. For choosing the number of state variable finalizing it number of order is equal to the number of state variable. For this example we have the order is 2 so the number of state variable is 2 so what we have to assume x1 is equal to x and x2 dot is equal to x1 dot is equal to x2 so for using this we can represent the things that So we can represent the things to, to get the x2 dot. Here we get the x1 dot. So here we get the x1 dot is equal to x2. Now using this equation, the transfer function equation splitting x1 and the u of s. So Re, uh, do the cross multiplication and then u of s is equal to x square plus 2s plus 10 into x of s. So u is equal to now do the changes in the variable. Uh, so after Laplace multiplication it will be the derivative x double dot plus 2x dot plus 10x. Now we know what is x. x is equal to x1 x dot is equal to x2 and x double dot means x1 double dot is equal to x2 dot. Now arrange the teams x2 dot is equal to this term and we know we for the representation we require the x1 dot and x2 dot. So x1 dot is equal to 0 1 minus 10 minus 2 so it will be the x1 and x2 and for x1 we don't have any u so it will be the 0 for x2, x2 dot we have the u so it will be the 1. Now to understand the output C matrix so we have to use another y of s upon x of s is equal to x plus 3. Now for this x plus 3 do the multiplication so what we get y is equal to x dot is equal to 3s plus x2 plus 3x1. So we know what is the x dot is equal to x2 and x is equal to x1. So we get the 3, 1 is as a C matrix. So this is A, B and C. So finding this is called as is finding the state space equation or the state model. And by well, A and B matrix, we can say the given system is controllable canonical form. Now, another method to convert the given equation into the state model, but the, if the specific model is given, that is, if the given system should be diagonal canonical form. So, to understand this, another example we consider x plus 1 and x plus 2. So, we have the dominant roots of the denominator. So, that time it is easy to find out the diagonal canonical form. So again, uh, what we have to do, do the partial fraction and find out the ABC. So after partial fraction and separation of the all roots, we get the ABC value. Then 
roots of the denominator is is as a eigen values so put the eigen values on the diagonal form remaining terms are the zero so it represent the a matrix and for the b matrix all values is one and abc value should be in the c matrix so this is the term uh, we can interchange the b and c uh, simultaneously to calculation of the diagonal canonical form. Here we have the separate eigen values, so it, it all values are zero, only diagonal values are there. But now, if it is a Jordan canonical form, means repeated roots are there, so we have to put the one across the repeated roots, and here we have to remove the one and make it as a zero. So in this way we studied how to transfer the transfer function from transfer function to the state equation. It has a different representation and how to convert it by easiest way. Hope you understand the method to conversion of the transfer function from the state space model. Thank you for watching the video.